Any questions for the chief or Mr. Crumley? Chief, I had a gentleman come up to me before the meeting and asked a question about um, can, if a ticket's not paid, your uh, your license be suspended or put on hold? And I, I think it, he was showing me a, a, a printed sheet of paper regarding that information. No, sir, they, they cannot, uh, not only by our ordinance, but by state legislation as well. Uh, these are not viewed as moving violations. Uh, they are, in our case, these are civil citations. Uh, but as with all other civil citations that are issued in a municipal court of law, they're subject to collection. So uh, I think we may want to, if, if proceeding the, the, the handout, or I guess it's sent in a ticket, mm -hmm. has on the back of that, that handout that they can do that. Uh, and I'll, I'll get that for you from the gentleman who gave it to me or showed it to me before the meeting. But it may be good. That may just be something that they blanketly put in showing that out. But I think, yeah. Councilman Young, I think you saw it, saw it also. I think it's a submittal with a ticket, and I'm not sure, but uh, hopefully we'll be able be to. Be glad to look at it. But that cannot happen because it's our ordinance and state law that that cannot happen, correct? It doesn't appear on your driving history. Um, because of the, uh, the, the the manner of enforcement that we're using. Um, now, if a police officer stops you, observes the, uh, the violation and stops you and writes you a moving violation citation, which as we've discussed many, many times before here, is tremendously inefficient, tremendously uh, more dangerous, um, for red light enforcement situations, then that's a moving violation. It goes to the state, it shows up on your driving history, uh, and potentially has insurance implications to it because of the fact that it's prosecuted as a moving violation. These are not handled in that same way. Any other comments, Mr. Smuggler? Chief Christman, Mr. Cromley, uh, 